In the heart of Newfoundland, the impressive Exploits River system stretches nearly 300 kilometers, all the way from its headwaters in the southwest, through Beothic Lake, and on to the North Atlantic Ocean. The river has long been renowned for its abundance of Atlantic salmon. The natural salmon run on the Exploits originally numbered in the range of 1,200 fish and extended only as far as the Grand Falls a natural obstruction that prevented fish from moving any further upstream. By the late 1960s, a stocking program was introduced to give nature a helping hand. And thanks to a dedicated effort by the Federal Department of Fisheries, tributaries upstream from Grand Falls were stocked with young salmon. This conservation and repopulation program continued, producing remarkable results with an annual salmon run today that sustains a vibrant and healthy population. To facilitate the salmon's movement, fish ladders were installed at the Bishop Falls Dam, the Grand Falls Dam, and other locations along the river system. These dams have been operated by Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro since 2009 for electricity production at generating stations in Grand Falls, Windsor and Bishop Falls. These fish ladders have been instrumental in the success story of Atlantic salmon on the Exploits River. In 1996, the aging steel penstocks at Grand Falls were replaced with a modern power canal. At that time, careful consideration was given to installing a fish diversion system to divert salmon smolt and kelp away from the hydroelectric turbines. The system features louvers supported by a floating boom stretching across the canal, which guide fish towards the bypass entrance. An extensive monitoring program was conducted using radio telemetry. The research that I was most involved in was the biological understanding of how fish move and how fish uh, approach the guidance structures and then integrating that with the engineering to provide better ways to move fish more effectively that's less risky and less energetically costly to them. Anytime you can get juvenile salmonids out of a river system to the marine environment, that has a direct implications for the return of adults. And so seeing that, that increase has been, has been really rewarding for me. Since the installation of the louver system, the number of healthy adult salmon returning above Grand Falls has been steadily increasing. In 2022, Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro completed a major rebuild of the bypass system at Grand Falls, enhancing the structure and improving the salmon's ability to migrate up and downstream. For the team at Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro, who managed the Exploits hydroelectric system, it's proof that cooperation between industry, government, and the local conservation association has paid off. You know, when somebody sees our operation for the first time, they're pretty amazed at the extent to which we go to make sure that these fish can get past us. You know, not everybody is going to be, have that level of commitment or that level of financial obligation supporting something like a salmon run. Each fish season starts with an outmigration of uh, salmon from the spawning grounds, and that is our responsibility through the operation of our fish bypass systems. It's exciting to see the population growing year after year. Uh, it's certainly something that all the partners involved can uh, be proud of. Scientific studies have shown that approximately 65% of the fish migrating back to the ocean go through an opening in the main dam. As part of a minimum flow agreement with Fisheries and Oceans Canada, Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro ensures the right water conditions for salmon to make their way. It's the type of cooperation that has enabled the project to succeed. Each year, approximately 98% of smolts are able to bypass the generating facility on their way downstream. So at the Salmon Interpretation Centre, the fishway passage outside, you can see the salmon as they jump up into that passageway. Um, you can have an underwater river experience by going down in our lower observation area at the Samana Interpretation Center to see the salmon up close. The fact that this species is able to um, navigate out to sea, uh, go out into the ocean, 
go as far as Greenland and then return to the Exploits River and return to its tributaries to spawn uh, is very unique. Uh, on the Exploits River, fisheries and oceans played a regulatory role. Uh, our department is responsible to ensure the safe passage of fish up and downstream of the facilities on the Exploits River. Um, from a fisheries and oceans perspective, this project has been a success story. When you look at the increased numbers of survival rates for smolt migrating downstream, as well as the increased returns of adult salmon back each year, DFO views this project as something we're very proud to be a part of. Over the years, Newfoundland and Labrador Hydro has invested in scientific studies and salmon passage infrastructure, and they continue to invest to improve the facility. Without the collaborative approach with other stakeholders such as IRMA and DFO, we wouldn't see the progress that we have seen in developing that healthy population. We invest time, knowledge and money into the infrastructure on the river, supporting salmon migration every year. It's part of what Newfoundland Labrador Hydro does and will continue to do. When the passion to ensure the success of wild Atlantic salmon has a healthy stock, where we're able to also educate people on the success of this uh, and to showcase uh, the Samana Interpretation Centre, the Exploits River, wild Atlantic salmon to the world. All of the partners continue to maintain a strong relationship, helping to make the Atlantic Salmon's journey along the mighty Exploits River a complete success story. <laughs>